Hey guys, video number two. Sorry, I'm having some issues with my remote. I think we're out of batteries. Um, anyway, I shot my last video this morning right after I worked out. Um, and I realized that I have a lunch meeting, so I don't have a lot of time today. But I did want to shoot this while it's fresh on my mind because I gave you a teaser in the last video. Um, and I said how to talk to yourself like a trainer. Here's the thing. As I said in my last video, you know, I was really upset in, about this little component in that I weighed myself this morning and I hadn't weighed myself in several weeks. It's been a while. Um, and, and I hadn't weighed myself for several reasons. A, because I was so proud that the last time I weighed myself was 137. And I'm walking around like, this is awesome. And as I've been working around, excuse me, working out the past several weeks, trying on clothes, whatever, I've been observing my body and seeing changes for the better. In other words, my stomach's getting more flat. Um, my legs are slimming out. I took my measurements last week. This is just really, this little thing sticking out is bothering me. Um, so I had taken my measurements last week and I'd lost another inch on my waist, another two inches off my upper hips, one inch off my middle hips, because I measure in three spots, and two inches off my lower hips, closer to my butt. I'd lost another inch on my upper thighs, another inch on my lower thighs, and all that, and I step on the scale today and it showed four, is it four, four and a half? Um, five pounds heavier. So is it like 141.5 or something like that? Um, and I did not want to come out here and say that, but I'm like, you know what? If I'm really going to share my, my journey and my experience and my successes and my, my screw ups or, or my, you know, hey, one step forward, two step back or frustrations, it's not, it's not right for me to just share the good part. I've got to share with you when I've had frustrations because it's getting past the frustrations that is what propels you forward and, and you've got to keep going when you have because you're going to have missteps you're gonna have time when you screw up you're gonna have time when you kick ass and you still have ridiculous results like me stepping on the scale today that kind of to me it makes no sense but it could be many things it could be that I'm trying to think of when it was that time of the month I have to look on my calendar to see when it's that time of the month um, but here's the thing the first thing I did when I got off the scale, of course, was get mad. But it's like I said in my last video, you cannot focus, and this is what I did in the past, you cannot focus only on the negative feedback that you have. I said in my last video, you know, two things. I can't, you know, right now I have this ridiculous blister on, on the bottom of my foot, and it's from walking on fire, but it's more so because I peeled the blister early on Monday like an idiot. I told Dutch that, and he's like, why? Why would you do that? coming from somebody who, because he's a triathlete, probably has a lot of blister situations like this. Um, it didn't hurt. I walked on fire Thursday night. It, there was no pain um, with this blister until I peeled it off like a dumbass. Um, if I only focused right now, it's Wednesday, the past few days since doing that Monday morning, um, I wouldn't be working out. And I would be going, oh, I'd be limping around like, oh, I can't. No, I got my ass to Walgreens and I got those, you know, blister, advanced blister healing uh, pads. I've kept it clean and I'm doing what I can. And guess what? I'm doing just about everything I normally could do except for running. I'm not going to, you know, put myself running with this because I do think that could be something that could make that blister maybe get, um, anyway, I'm babying the blister in, in that small area. If I get on the scale and I see something I don't like, and instead of using that to propel me forward, instead of using that and going, oh, now it's on, now I'm going to work even harder because I'm freaking pissed at that number, okay? I am using this in a good way instead of a bad way. Furthermore, I'm coming on here and telling you, do you think it makes me feel good to tell you about this? And go, oh yeah, the scale was up four and a half pounds. I'm so excited about that. No, I'm not. Freaking pissed. But here's the thing. It could be for any number of reasons. It could be that I have in some way gained four pounds even though I'm less or whatever. It could be muscle, could be bloating, could be anything. Who cares what it is? It's one unit of measurement, and realistically, I know that it's just, you know, it could just be the devil just messing with me, okay? Either way, I'm using it for good. And what I did is get off that scale, and I'm like, you know what? It's on now. That's all there is to it. Now I'm going to work even harder. Now I'm going to get my ass to the gym even faster. Look at what's going on with the light all of a sudden. Um, oh, this is a good song. Um, so... When I ended my last video, I said, you've got to, because one of the things that, that hit me as I went through my workout today and as I was kind of like, you know, getting myself amped up, I realized, I think a key for all of us 
and it's all about positive self-talk and how you treat yourself is, and this is like a simple thing, but sometimes you just have to think about things from a different perspective to get you changing. Talk to yourself like you're a trainer, okay? When I got on the scale today, you know, first, you know, I was coming in here to get my genetics HD and getting my water and I'm putting my heart rate monitor on and I'm like, oh, am I missing something? You know, am I fat in an area that I, have I gained fat in an area that I, and I'm, you know, analyzing my body. And I do know that a couple times when I've been doing my yoga and I'm in um, Sprossen at the end, you know, I'm laying down, I can see the areas where I have, I still have the fat to lose, okay? And I'm not focusing on it, but I have the detachment you detach from, you know, looking at yourself, and, and now I can look at myself and go, okay, here's where I still have fat, and it's more like a, you know, I'm treating myself like a science project. I'm treating myself like, okay, it's like you're stepping outside of yourself and you're looking at yourself going, okay, here's what we're gonna do with you. This is where you still have fat, we're gonna work on that, that's where we're gonna measure, and, and here's what we're gonna do. And if you were a trainer, okay, so if my trainer was here, and he was in my bathroom with me when I got up and I told him, Here's the deal, you know, here's what the scale said. Do you think he'd go, you're disgusting, that's why. Don't talk to yourself like a trainer would talk to you, okay? Like the best trainer in the world, who's actually a trainer, doesn't just say they're a trainer. Um, was, that, was that mean to say? I'm sorry. Um, talk to yourself like a trainer would talk to you. A trainer wants to not blow smoke up your ass. Is that the right word? Sunshine up your ass, I think, sorry. Um, a trainer's not going to tell you what you want to hear, but on the other hand, they're not going to make you feel so discouraged and like an idiot about yourself that you never want to return. So if a trainer was here or somebody was here with me and I got on the scale, they go, well, you know what, here's the deal. That's what it says today. We need to make sure that you get back on the scale every single day. Let's measure it. You've lost the weight before. This is, you know, and they would probably remind me, look at your measurements. Look at, you know, how are your jeans fitting? Are they more loose? Yes. Is your stomach more flat? Yes. Do you feel good how you look at yourself in the mirror naked? Yes. Do you think you're kicking ass? Yes. Okay, so we've got something to work on. Let's work on this and it's gonna be so exciting when you see that that number goes back down and not just 137, but now our goal is how fast can we hit 135 in a healthy way, okay? You've gotta to talk to yourself like a trainer. And when I, when I think about my body, and I'm laying there and I'm like, oh, you know, this is where I'm still carrying fat. I t I, I'm able to step back and talk to myself instead of going, oh, God, I can't believe how disgusting. This is how I used to talk to myself. I'd be like, you are so disgusting. Your thighs are so fat. You'll never wear shorts like Amy Burford can or like this person can, um, you know, because your thighs, oh. You know what? I have heavy thighs. You know why? Because I have amazing muscle underneath these thighs. And furthermore, after I got off of the scale this morning and I went in to do my turbo fire, there was part of me, I had these mirrors in my bedroom. Um, that sounded wrong. They're on the, you know, both sides of my bed. They're really long mirrors. So when I'm working out, if I work out in my bedroom, you know, I could see my reflection in the mirror and there was part of me, the old me, that was like, oh, I can't believe what the scale says. I don't want to look at myself. Well, guess what? I start looking at myself in this long mirror and I looked at my whole body and I'm like, you know what? I'm feeling so great about how that looks and it has been so long. I don't want to say that in the wrong way. Usually in the past, I would, I would not want to look at myself in the reflection in a full length mirror because I go, oh, you know, I look so hippie, whatever. I freaking am so proud of how I look right now and I'm loving myself where I'm at. I'm using this kind of little side visual upsetting moment on my scale this morning to motivate me further but again you've got to use your setbacks and, and and be able to talk to yourself you've got to be your coach because when your friends and social media that you're connecting with aren't there you've got to be able to motivate yourself and talk to yourself and and maybe it sounds maybe you're alone in your house or you're with your family and you're talking to yourself and you're motivating yourself and you think it sounds really stupid who cares if you sound stupid and you're having you're making great changes in your life who cares if if somebody at the office or some doofus online that has no life is making fun of you they have no life and they want to sit around and make fun of people that are actually making positive changes in their life you talk all you want i'm actually doing something with my life and that's all I have to say. So I'm going to go. I actually did this vlog under 10 minutes, kicking ass. So I've got to go get ready. Um, get yourself some tunes on. Talk to yourself in a good way. And don't let any setback in any way. It, nothing's really a setback. The only thing that's a setback is when you quit. And that's a temporary setback if you start again. So that's my deep, profound thoughts for the day. You guys have a kick butt day, and I'll see you tomorrow.